Alrighty, welcome back to my channel. For this week's video, we are going to do the top spring trends that I've been seeing a lot of and I just want to talk to you guys about and really break down those trends. Especially with spring, I feel like it's such a great season, especially for fashion because you know, your mornings are a little bit colder, so you do need a jacket, but then by the afternoon, it's like a little bit warmer and you can kind of play around with some spring clothes, but as well as fall clothes. Especially with this season, I feel like the biggest thing I noticed when I looked at the trends was that I think the last couple of months, everyone's been inside. And so everyone has gone from being like, I want to wear comfy clothes. I don't really care what I look like to now everyone kind of wants to dress up. I feel like I feel like people are ready to, you know, play around with their clothes, even if they're not going anywhere, which I personally love. I definitely I feel like I'm honestly dressing up a little bit more than I normally would because I'm honestly just not going out as much. So when I do go out, I definitely want to like showcase and stuff. Anyways, I have my phone with me. I have a list of trends that I really just like want to talk to you guys about and go over So let's just like jump right into this video First trend that I want to talk about is really just colors I feel like spring especially you kind of come in from that gray dull winter and you are now wanting to play with color You're wanting to spice it up and especially color this year I think is gonna be huge the colors that I'm thinking of that are like really I'm pinpointing would be like sage green I think green is just like it's a pop in color this season, as well as like pastel colors. I mean, pastel colors are always pretty big in spring, specifically yellow. And my theory behind the yellow color is, I think this year has just been a very hard year on everyone. And I think yellow is just such a happy color. It makes you feel happy. It makes you feel like just super, yeah, it just makes you feel good. So I think the whole idea behind the yellow is people just like want to wear something that's gonna make them feel good. I mean, like that is just fashion in its simplest form as well brown like a chocolate brown has been so huge this season and i feel like just all around this year yeah like a chocolate brown bodysuit chocolate brown jackets like that milky chocolate brown is such a hot color definitely sage green yellow and brown are gonna be like huge colors now again like i was saying in the intro to this video i feel like the biggest thing that i noticed is people are now taking really comfortable pieces but dressing them up and giving them more of a elevated feel to them so the next trend that i want to talk about is cardigans and i feel like i haven't worn a cardigan since i was in like grade 8 elementary school like they just weren't my like the thing i gravitated to but now i'm seeing a lot more people wearing cardigans as tops so they're going for like maybe the smaller cardigans that aren't like full length but they're wearing them as a top buttoned up i think that's super cute you can just like layer cardigans which is really nice so i've seen tons of them on like the runway i've seen tons of them just like on different content creators and things like that piece is definitely like the more elevated version of like the tracksuit because it's still very comfy and you feel like you're still in a nice piece but definitely a great option so another kind of piece that i want to talk about going off of cardigans is actually long sleeve button down shirts i've seen a ton of people playing around with long sleeve button down shirts whether that be like your boyfriend's dress shirts that you then kind of like pulled off together an outfit with like it's very Hailey bieber-esque i feel like the look of like a short short with like a button down white shirt tucked in is like super classic, so pretty. And again, you're playing around with these pieces that are more dressy, but you know, you're dressing them down with more casual pieces. So I just love the mix and like kind of where we're at with like the fashion trends right now. I'm honestly really into them. But yeah, I saw a lot of like long sleeve button down um, shirts, again, like linens, cottons. And the other thing I noticed was a lot of the shirts weren't ironed. So if you did have like a tiny bit of wrinkles in them or like creases, it, it just adds more texture to like the look. And I've been seeing a ton of that as well. So I think that was like a really interesting take. I personally love um, a button down shirt. I feel like it just looks elevated, whether you tuck it into your jeans or if you just like wear it open with like a shirt underneath and shorts. Like I, I just think you can dress it up and play around with it in a multitude of different different ways but yeah and then also too so in terms of like pattern and print again spring is like i feel like a season where people play around with different prints but i've seen a ton of checkerboard prints i've seen a ton of pinstripe patterns like you know like the pinstripe that goes like vertical I've seen tons of that again like linen has been huge cotton all of that like really just playing around with those textures has been huge i've seen the next trend i feel like isn't gonna be for everyone but i personally love this trend and i have seen so many suit jackets and so many trouser combinations which i love zara is filled with them right now but i've seen a ton of people taking oversized trousers and then pairing them with like a really cute delicate shirt i love that look especially if you're someone who has to go still into the office for work or you're someone like me where you're meeting clients on a daily basis i think it's a great option to dress up your look I do love the look of like a suit jacket like a blazer oversized jacket with like a trouser and then like a bralette underneath i think that's so cute and so delicate again playing around with like the size of the jacket 
totally changes the look because in spring a lot of the times we do need a jacket in the morning but then by the afternoon we don't really need a jacket because it's like warmer outside so i think that a blazer jacket or like a trouser it just it works so well together because you can throw the jacket on in the morning and then by the afternoon take it off and show off like your pant and top combination so i think it's super cute um again oversized blazers have been so huge i feel like this entire year they just they're such a great piece to really dress up your look um and yeah, I just love that. I feel like it's super understated and it's just such a beautiful piece. I definitely picked up a bunch of blazers. This one I actually have, this is from Banana Republic and I love this. It's definitely a more tailored blazer, but for me, because I definitely go to meet clients and do things like that, it just works for me. And I really like that. Um, I also love the look of like blazers with jeans and a bralette underneath. Like I just, I feel like there's so many different ways to really dress it up and dress it down. So love 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 the blazer trend and i definitely don't think it's going anywhere so the other trend that i kind of just want to work off of is again like i was saying so trousers have been so huge i feel like the oversized the wide leg that whole wide leg situation has just taken over i feel like everywhere from like denim to dress pants to like your jeans like it, it's just nuts it's honestly like the biggest change because I, I feel like a few years ago everyone was like, gravitating towards skinny jeans and now it's like more into the straighter jeans yeah, I definitely love trousers. I feel like they're just such an elevated way to really pull together your look and make it look super chic, um, especially depending on the cut because you can go for a full length um, dress pant or a trouser with like a booty heel and really elevate the look and make your legs look longer and straighter. Or you can go for more of a cropped, um, like a cropped trouser or like a cropped um, dress pant and then play around with like a van or like a shoe and really make it look more dressed down so i love that look too and we're gonna see a lot more moving into summer a lot more trousers with shorts so what i mean by that is the dressy shorts that have like the tie at the waist again like a longer short i think the one thing that i noticed is shorts are getting longer now they're not getting shorter and I actually love that. I, I do not miss the days when I would be like go out and be like, oh my god, is my butt hanging in or something like that? Like I just I like a longer short. I think track pant shorts are gonna be huge again, like the matching sets. Now something else that I did want to talk about was kind of accessories and just some of the accessories that I saw a lot on like the runway and a lot of content creators and things like that wearing. And now there was a few really interesting pieces that I just want to talk about. I don't know if I'm necessarily going to like try them out or do them, but I just I noticed a lot of one, oversized sunglasses have been really big. I think the whole idea behind it is just that, you know, people are wearing a mask and it's just, it's a great way to just hide your face, honestly. Like, especially if you don't want to wear makeup, if you just like want to run out and you need to grab coffee or like whatever the case is, throw on your mask and then oversized sunglasses. I feel like that's just, that's like the look <laughs> for like, just like very easy, you know, you just don't want to be seen. So the other thing I've seen is a ton of like flats and sandals that are just slip on. A lot of, like yeah just like slip on sandals really comfy again super like elevated i've seen like lots of like leather sandals that are slip on again just very practical because we are spending so much time still at home so the practicality of these slippers are just i feel like that's kind of like why the trend is why people are so on track with this or why people love this trend and then the last thing that i wanted to touch on which I saw another vlogger talking about this and I was like, oh, that's an interesting trend. Like I definitely want to highlight that. Another thing that I've seen a ton on the runway and I don't know if I'm going to do this trend, but head scarves have been really big. Like taking like a scarf and tying it around your head or just putting it in the back part of it. Um, again, playing around with like ribbons, just like adding texture to your head. When I look at trends, I directly just go to the runway work and I look at that because these are the designers that are putting out the newest pieces in hopes that it washes down the chain or the, down the line and then people start wearing it. So yeah, I've just noticed a ton of like headscarves. The other thing too that I wanted to note was I think mini hoops are like the jewelry accessory of the year. I feel like everyone is just like so into like those huggy um, slash tiny little hoops. I mean, I'm wearing a pair of like really little hoops from Majuri today, but I just think that they're such a cute piece. And you know how people used to say the bigger the hoop, the bigger the hoe? Well, now I feel like it's the smaller the hoop, the cuter the, like, <laughs> not the cuter the hoe, but like, I keep them in. I feel like they go with any outfit and they're just like a really cute piece to, you know, bring everything together, especially if you like a watch or... I also, I'm like staring at myself on camera and I'm like, I need to self tan. I didn't think I was like this fair, but <laughs> I guess I am. <laughs> I definitely need to self tan. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. This is my 2021 spring fashion trends and just like the really, the big things that I've seen this season that I think everyone is going to be wearing, I really like. So
so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video i personally love doing these videos i think it's always really really fun to just chit chat about you know what's on trend right now do you like these trends are you like gainer i freaking hate these trends these are not for me if so totally fine let me know in the comments down below because i love to know like what you guys are into what you're not into i'm definitely vibing with the straight leg denim i think that it just it elongates your legs it's so much more comfier again just really playing around with the idea of we all have these comfy pieces in our wardrobe now but it's just it's time to step out it's time to look cute and it's time to just like embrace the fact that you know who cares if we're not going anywhere i just want to look cute and i will see you in the next video bye